would be good if I unmuted myself. Uh, hi, everyone. Welcome to the Iowan Adventures, a world created and ruled by the Fae. I'm Jessica. I also go by I Snee Stars online in places like TikTok and Instagram. And I will be your shenanigan sovereign for this evening. Really quickly, I'm going to run you through our show shows. Listen, I was at the dentist earlier, so please, please forgive me. Um, Monday nights, obviously, the Iowan Adventures. Tuesday nights, we have the State of the Union, a Shadowrun campaign GM'd by uh, at Coddlesworth. At, I have to say the at part. Uh, at 7.30 p.m. TS. P-M-E-S-T. Uh, Thursday nights, we have The Lost Continent at 9 p.m. EST, DM'd by Mr. Markham. Friday nights, we have Legends of Kralis at 10.30 p.m. EST, a TTRPG created and GM'd by Talarius Game Master. And Saturdays, we have uh, The Moonstone Matriarchy at 9 p.m. EST. Right? It's 9 p.m.? Pretty sure it's 9 p.m. Uh... GM'd by myself with an all-girl cast, and it's girl power. Come check it out. I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, don't forget to follow us on TikTok, YouTube, all that stuff. Join our Discord. And um, James, can you take it away, please, for the love of God? I would love to. Hello, I'm James. Um, you've already met our shenanigan sovereign. I will be your shenanigan gremlin. Um, <laughs> but uh, I tonight should be playing a, a variety of characters. Most notably, uh, you you know him, you love him. He's deep-voiced and dour and kind of contemplative. Uh, Arav Dezark, our uh, variant human circle of stars druid, who shares a soul with um, Storm's... So Storm Soul Sorcerer, right? Storm Soul? Storm Sor Storm Sorcerer? I, I the I, one I with the lightning and the pizzazz and the flying around. It's awesome. Anyways, his soul is jammed into that body, and there are smarmy Irish sort of things going on that you don't have to you really just have to be here to find out. Uh so that's exciting. And then also handling our lovely and affable during combat uh, winter, but that's for later days. Um, let's go to who? <laughs> who do I get to put under the microscope next? <laughs> the power is going to my head, Jessica. Um, no, I already went. No, I know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have that. One. Can you imagine? Jessica, second time. Um, Hi, the I play all the characters. <laughs> the, the redux <laughs> just, yeah, she yeah, can you imagine I'm just like I have to go you're in charge of everybody one person show uh yeah let's go see I can't mess the direction up when I'm looking up Carol thank you for waiting for me to finish chewing were you just stalling <laughs> No, I I would never be so conscientious. No, I'm meanwhile I'm Hello. like he's eating chips. Now's the perfect time. <laughs> yeah, As you do it to me every time. No, <laughs> now's the time for some drama. <laughs> As I'm Carol. Hello, I'm imaginary Carol and corner Carol on the internet. Um, I am playing Gilly, the water genasi barbarian slash warlock. Now exciting. Um. And that's it, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Dan. You can find me as the Speed of Candy on all of the various internet places. Tonight, I will be Damascus Silver, the half-elf bard warlock who uh, has an awesome idea to make his cat fly and ride him. Her. I, like I just don't like, like the way that you said that. Like a horse. Like a griffin. Rising. You're gross. You're all like a majestic mount. It's gonna like be a majestic great. steed. You're going to mount your cat. <laughs> like Bambi's nope. mom. No. Oh. <laughs> I hate you all. Never mind. I'm taking a new spell now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I mean, I'm just saying, like, would that be like mount on the wall? Like, what, what would that? No. Pause. <laughs> She's a beautiful lady. Spoilers for anybody who hasn't. So watched you that are mounting her. Lovely Disney film from you know <laughs> thirty years ago. <laughs> All right. Last time in AA episode sixty nine. Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't tits be nice? God damn it. Our adventure unfolds as we follow Esme. Damascus casted, cast, casted, casted it in, uh, detect thoughts um, to unveil her inner. And I'm done today. It's cool. I, I have a kind of a lisp going because of I can't fully use my my mouth to talk. It's great. Um, to unveil her inner intentions. Uh, Jesus. A feeling, feelings of rage engulfed him, and a sense that her meticulously, 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 for fe- yep, we should have called this one early. <laughs> uh, we believe in you. Crafted plan is inching ever closer, closer to fruition. <laughs> you got the chest. <laughs> And Worst case scenario, you can send it to one of us and we can read it. Do you want me it's to read just it written for you? Out. <laughs> we, are, out. we are at your disposal. <laughs> <laughs> you go, Dan. <laughs> okay. Send it to me. <clears throat> Last time okay. in AA. Our adventure unfolds as we follow Esme. Damascus cast detect thoughts to unveil her intentions. A feeling of rage engulfed him, and the sense that her meticulously crafted plan was inching ever closer to fruition. Inexplicably, she walked directly into a tree by the Emerald Basin and vanished, leaving Gilly, Damascus, and Faza floundering. Gilly's adventures took a mystical turn when she got pulled into the lake and met Serafina, a radiant ocean goddess, and her great times something grandmother. As it turns out, Gilly is part of a divine lineage connected to all of the oceans. Serafina offers her a trident and extends an offer for further magical powers. Gilly accepts and becomes a warlock, forging a new connection with the seas. Meanwhile, Arav experiences his own drama, at Wouldn't It Be Nice Brothel, where an awkward winter attempts to play it cool while still giving Arev the support he needs. An uncomfortable conversation later, Arev and Crash, his daughter, take a walk and have a very... Cash? Cash. Cash, that's what I said. I think you said Crash, which is you. An uncomfortable conversation later, a Rev and Cash, his daughter, take a walk and have a very heartfelt conversation. Many apologies were made, and as were plans for the future. Winter accompanied a swooning, swooning Cash home, and the party leveled up, ready to face the mysteries and challenges that lie ahead. Can I just give you them all to read? I'll write <laughs> sure. them. You just have to read them because, wow. Sure, if you want me to. Anyways, without all without all of my stumbling, that was our, our recap. Uh now, you guys were in the process of either getting together or going out or doing something for the night. Um Ar- Arev, are you meeting with Callum? Listen, it's I don't know what you want from my life. And have a big night. I'm just I'm saying I don't I don't know what I want with my own life right now. <laughs> um <laughs> shoot. I just had a giant emotional meeting with uh with my daughter where I found out her mother was some sort of fey trickery not like mother of many different children of different fathers Stucky and they're... Bess. yeah a fucky bus. A fucky bus. A fucky bus. That's well, yeah, yeah. That's that's what happened. Um, 
when it was written out in chat that just somehow <laughs> made it somehow made it funnier because I was like, yes, it is in fact a fey succubus or a fuckubus. Um, I just. <laughs> Uh, um, yes, no, you know what? I'm here for the drama. Let's, I, I've already had an emotional day. What's adding another cry fest? Well, I just heard, I'm, I just heard, I'm, I'm going to strangle with you, you with a plastic bag and you're going to die. I don't know if that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's probably not what he said, but then he went off. <laughs> No, he's back. Did someone die? The cat was trying to climb into the sealed plastic bag that's by the front door. Oh, and would have died. Okay. She's skinny and could have wiggled in. Yeah, my dog Sorry. was downstairs was barking too. at something. I don't know what. All right, so you do not have to go on the date with Callum. He is just waiting for you at in the lobby of where you need to go to rest for the night don't stand him up <laughs> yeah so that's it's, not it's, a good option so it's not that i have to go on a date with him it's just that he's waiting for me to go on a date with him <laughs> it's um, just that he'll be heartbroken if you don't show up is the thing <laughs> no no you know what it's um Yes. Let's let's do let's do the thing. Let's do the thing where I walk into the lobby. All right. So you have gone back to uh fuck what was it? The Dove Does anyone remember what we called our freaking uh I don't think I wrote it down. Mm, right now. Anyways, whatever. I feel you like it was something the... bird related. In. You went back to the in. The bird hotel. In. You went back to the bird <laughs> hotel, and um, and it's it's around dinner time, maybe a little later. Um, make a perception check. Oh, uh, well, that is a. Not 20, so um, 25. Oh, you see him immediately. He stands when you arrive. Uh, see himself off a bit. It looks like he might have uh, bought a little bit of a nicer outfit and, you know, braided his hair a bit. You smell, you smell something nice and musky and strong. Looks like he really made an effort tonight. Meanwhile, I come in, um, ha- hair tousled, looking a little mm-hmm. disheveled, uh, out- outfit disarrayed due to um, wild shape and magic shenanigans, plus just like everything that's been going on. And so, like like a force of nature, I get swept in on the wind. <laughs> A little, a, f- a few leaves come through as you yeah. open the door, and I just like walk through, like attempting to like avoid them, but like almost like subconsciously crunching on them with that like crisp fall like <laughs> sound. That was a, that was a pretty good leaf crunch. Um, uh, and then as I walk a few steps forward. It's like I hit a wall of recognition and he's a rev stops dead as he's looking across the lobby. Um, and as far as he's concerned, like the rest of the world seems to like fall away. Now. Are you hiding the fact that you completely forgot? I can't even say F for it, guys. <laughs> so if, if we get a lot of ducks in the background we we can assume what she means oh god you got fuckubus pretty well i got fuckubus pretty f- <laughs> fuck, i gotta do like i gotta use my whole mouth 
So do the fuck you bus. Hey! (laughs) (laughs) What up, (laughs) Cha? Oi. um, I... You know what? I don't think... I don't think that they are. And it's less that they forgot and more that, like, when they get breezed in and they look at Callum, there's this moment where like sort of two realities meet each other, right? This like the the, the past and the present sort of like have collided and Arev is sitting there and across the lobby, he's looking at this beautiful boy who, who's waiting for him and he just goes hey hey yourself there he puts a hand through his hair and uh walks over to you you okay Yeah. Yeah, I am. I, uh, I mean, there's a large part of me that wants to apologize for keeping you waiting, but then again, I feel like that's kind of been my largest habit. Right. He looks you up and down and goes, Are you sure you're okay? Because I rolled inside for him. So, it's, yeah, no, it's, it's a different kind of okay. Um, so, I understand that. And uh, Arev reaches out and like puts a hand lightly on Callum's shoulder. If, if I seem different, I don't and I don't mean to, but when I say I'm okay, I think for the first time I I don't mean something else. I'm not trying to hide anything from you. I... <laughs> For the first time in my life, I'm I'm actually okay. And I mean that. I oh. <laughs> I think he's a little like a dumbstruck like how do you respond to that? Like he's, I'm, I'm happy for you. Thanks. Uh, so am I. <laughs> Look, I, what's going on in my life aside? Um, what's the plan? Should should I bother getting cleaned up? Like what's what what do you have in mind? Well, I had thought we'd go for dinner, but I'm also okay with staying in. You know, that sounds good. And I trail my hand from his shoulder down his arm and I try to take his hand if you'll let me. Oh, he'll let you. And I start gently walking back through the hotel lobby off to where my room is and I just look back at him and I go thank you for always waiting help. 
I'm done waiting. I'd wait lifetimes for you, darling. And as I pull him to stay in, that is, uh, that's, that's, that's my date. That's, uh. So you take him to your room. Yes. Get it! Do you, do you fade to black? Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm squeeing. No, my, my, time. My fan girl is like. <laughs> Who needs to go out? We're staying in. Oh my gosh. It's... I'm so happy for them. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, like, he's just, like, he, he he's literally riding from this, like, this, like, freeing moment, uh, if you will. Like, a rev feels un unburdened of guilt. A little bit like th there's so much truth uh and, and history that he didn't have of his life um that that just like lifted off of his shoulders and so he he stumbles into this room and he sees callum who's there and present and happy and you know waiting for him and it was like there was nothing holding him back anymore. There was no... There was nothing... to hide. Get wrecked! <laughs> <laughs> Arev did enough talking tonight, I think. Mm. Yeah. That was, yeah. Now he's was... about to do some moaning. It's fun. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um... All right, on to the other party members here. Uh, Gilly, Damascus, is there anything that you guys are doing before bed? I mean, eventually we make our way out of the uh, pond that we're swimming in, our little lake. Um, a nice little swim. I don't have anything in particular that we're doing, um, other than convincing my cat to let me try and turn her into a giant flying cat that I can right into battle yes <laughs> let me ask you a question uh you had a, a book of ancient maps did you ever read it i don't i trying when did we go shopping that was yesterday um more or less <laughs> a lot has happened um i don't think i did can i look at them tonight in my room totally yeah i'll go take um, a look at my maps um, on our way back, I'm just going to kind of give Gilly like a look. What's up, bud? <laughs> Who the fuck is this? Look <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's just me, but you're looking a little more magical or something. You think? Not like in a... Don't get me wrong. You're, you're a beautiful lady. I don't mean like that. I'm just actually uh magic. not like smite uh yeah <laughs> no uh <laughs> I, I i might need to talk to you about that at some point actually because it's it's starting to dawn on me uh do you know anything about warlock picks i pull up my sword and just kind of throw it into the air and summon it back into my hand oh that's um, cool a little bit uh bella granted me some powers if that's the kind of thing you mean why did you yeah I think it's possible that I made one shit it's <laughs> instead right. of starting the process I'm a slow processor but I think that that might have been what have happened uh... well I can tell you that in my experience they tend to be useful but do you come with some I like glance up to see if the sun is peeking through the leaves. <laughs> Interesting strings. Mm. Yeah. Well, who did you, who, who's granting you powers? Uh, my grandma. Who is yeah. uh one of the oceans? You know the one that I met when you thought that I was dead. Right. Like, yeah, right. That to you see. mentioned that. 
Yeah. She's granting you. I mean, I suppose if you got to get powers from someone, getting it from family is probably your safest bet. As far as I know, I just have to go visit her more often. So it might turn out all right. I used to get the same speech from my mom, but (laughs) all I got in exchange was some laundry and a few weeks of dinners. You know, and the fact that you had a mother. So. (laughs) Oh. (laughs) Just saying. Can't put a price on that. Fair enough. A real <laughs> fucking family, but let's bitch about it, Damascus. <laughs> I I did. I wasn't bitching. I just said that I didn't get, exactly get superpowers from it. Oh, oh, so basically, it just wasn't enough for you. The, you didn't get superpowers from it. I'm sorry. You were born with the soul of a god in you. Not to mention, she gave you bomb's jacket. Well, I mean, I just got the jacket. Well, I just found out but about she's Jack. and had it forever and i didn't know about the soul thing until like three months ago so you are very sassy tonight Lisa. <laughs> i mean i'm just done with your shit tonight Lisa's got right. opinions fair <laughs> enough <laughs> this comes from a place of love i just want you to know that yeah, I can feel the positive energy just radiating off of you. All right, I'm going to let you two work this out. I'm going to go to my room now. <laughs> Not Gilly. Good night. Hey, Gilly. <laughs> can so I do it? <laughs> <laughs> okay. No insight needed, then, I no guess. <laughs> I'm grateful. I just, I don't know, enjoy having something to complain about, I guess. That's a shocker. You ain't ever. What? What's you ain't ever for- complain just for the sake of it? <laughs> no. All right. Well. Because that got me in trouble. All right. Fair enough. We come from different, radically different backgrounds. I know. But you ain't there anymore. And if you want to complain about something, you're more than welcome to. Even if it's me most of the time. I'm going to complain about something. You talk a lot of shit. Like a lot. And? And it's kind of exasperating. You saying you don't like hearing me talk? See, you just said complain about stuff and that I was allowed to, but then you get all pissy pants about it. Right, pissy pants. No? No, not at all. Yeah, I'm going to bed. <laughs> all right. She gives you a peck on the cheek. <laughs> <laughs> Good night, darling. Uh, I wait to see what room she goes into. She goes into yours. Okay. Um, then I will take out my maps and lay them out on the table before I join her and to see what the hell these maps are. Sure, 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 sure. Figure them out. Um, let's see. So, can you give me the stuff that you're good at? Um, I'm going to have you do investigation and an intelligence roll. Okay, investigation and intelligence. Um, Let me see if I still have my self-bardic. I do. I use my self-bardic. All right, I'll do investigation first. Hang on. Sparks are a D10 now. Hell yes. Uh, That is 12 plus 3 plus 7 for 22 for investigation. And then a general intelligence check. That 20. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I'm smart. I'm smart so, today. You... You notice that as you're going through all of these maps, um, there are, like, X's in certain places on them, and that if you... Um, If you start to like, they're like onion paper almost. Like if you start to overlay them, you get uh, an old map of of Brea, more or less, where there wasn't a body of water where the Emerald Basin is. It was, you know, a desert, um, that kind of stuff. You're getting like the, I don't know what. What do you call that? Like the grid map? The grid? <laughs> like a yeah. relief map almost? Yeah, kind of like that. Like a, like a heights and... Yeah. yeah. Um, there are also like a few small threes next to these X's. Uh, and you make out that... Uh, Did you say threes? Like the number threes? Three? Like the number three. You make out basically (laughs) three is important. Uh, You make out that since you got that nat 20, those threes, the X's and the threes, they are a triangle that pretty much line up to where the, um, the big cities of Rhea are. So Zeru, Thon and Eluna. Hmm. Interesting. Do I get the impression that these X's and 3's are marking locations? Like, there is something here? Or is it more like a mapping out grid lines, kind of like a ley lines situation? Both. So, okay. you think that this triangle is a st- are ley lines? And you also think that with your nat 20, you're like, oh, the tree of 3. It would make sense that there would be a tree of three by each one of those big cities. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Bro, chill. Ride me! Um, Okay. I... uh, can I, Can I do a perception check? You can. Okay, 22. Um, With a 22, I think I don't go and immediately ask a rev what's going on with this stuff. Yeah, there's a sock on the door, okay? I start to, and then I'm like, "Mm, no, I'll I'll ask him in the morning. Yeah, you you saw the sock on the door. You, you know, just (laughs) don't do it. Don't I, interrupt. I just wanted there, a ch- there to be a chance for a nat one. Just <laughs> in case. Uh, yeah, okay. So I make a note to show everybody in the morning. Um, other than that. Oh, I pull pause out. Put her on, on the table. On the maps. Because I'm that smart. Yeah. She walks around, leaves a footprint on one of them. Kind of kicks some of the papers up all over the place. You think so, there's something special there, or just you're just having fun? Or you're just having fun. All right. Now, before I go to bed, you and I need to talk about something real important. She flops and gives you her belly. I rub. And you then she atta- immediately attacks and bites. Exactly. Oh, okay. That's that's pretty much what I was thinking. I gotta cut you. No, we ain't gonna touch claws, actually. I cast healing word on myself <laughs> uh you were the mightiest of hunters today chasing that stupid boat around that room keeping it purr, all distracted per per i pull out like a little treat to give her I'm i was thinking model. i know spells that can make things bigger and make them change shapes i'm thinking i could turn you into a well enormous version of yourself 
and you and I, I can go eat hunt the things. Humans? No, no, we, you don't eat humans. Well, maybe some humans. How about I let you know which ones you're allowed to eat? And it won't just be humans. It'll be, you know, dragons and... Uh, no. No. You don't <laughs> want to turn big? Dragons. No. Okay, not dragons then. How about uh, snakes and big mice and cows, maybe? And the humans? Some humans, yes. Not all of them. Maybe. Maybe. All right, I'll take maybe. How about next time we run into a situation like that, we give it a shot, and we could even do it together. I could help guide you and point you at the humans that you want to eat and other things. Go hunting together? Yeah. Now, I can't fly like you can, so you'll have to give me a ride, but... No. Why not? You sit on me? Well, you'll be very big. Like, bigger than me. Bigger this room. My horse? Bigger than a horse. You could eat a horse if you wanted to. Horses taste good. Well, then there you go. We got a deal? No. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to roll persuasion? I would love to roll persuasion. Otherwise, I'm just fucking summoning a unicorn. Uh, 23. That's it? I rolled a 9, which means that that uh, becomes a 10 and plus 13 is 23. I mean, do you really uh, want to You know to what? I'm lucky. I have two luckies. Okay. Uh, there you go. 28. I require more, more head scritches. Fuck these words. I, re I require more head scritches. And if you're fresh big, I'd be able to scritch your head morning. with both hands all at the same time. Fresh saucer of cream. I can get you a... I pull out my alchemy jug. Cream. Every morning. morning. Okay, I'll take this away then. Just in, only in the morning. <gasps> I want to go back in the bag. <laughs> I give her the cream. We have a maybe deal. I, I will accept a maybe deal. She drinks the cream purring. Um, is that all you do for the night? Yeah, then I go to bed. Uh, make me a perception check. I would love to. Uh, 14. Winter is not home. Mm -hmm. I... But this happened before, right? This has happened before. Hmm. <laughs> suspicious. 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 I have no way of contacting him. I don't have sending. None of us have sending anymore. Oh, Faza. Figure that out. I go poke Faza. You're gonna I, wake her up. Uh, I look in to see if she's awake. She's she sleeping. said she was going to sleep. Hey, damn it. I will. Hmm. <laughs> I'll wait up a little. Give it like another hour or so. Okay. Uh, uh, let me roll. See if he shows up. Does not show up within that hour. I would like to uh, cast Polymorph on myself. Okay. And bird up so I can fly around like just a like immediate area and see okay if I so you want to leave the condo and go see if you can find him yeah okay uh perception wait how are you getting out with the door closed when are you casting polymorph i On need more <laughs> i walk out of the condo <laughs> turn into an owl 
because for some reason they're the fastest, one of the fastest birds in D and D, and have advantage on perception. Okay. And then I fly around trying to find him. I roll. It occurs to me that I have to use the owl stats, which is uh fifteen. Uh you don't see him. Okay. I give up and go back to bed. How long yeah. do you think you you've done that for? Uh how late is it? Well, Faza went to bed, so maybe ten, eleven. I've got an hour of uh polymorph, so I'll do I'll go for an hour. So you like around twelve ish, you're gonna go yeah. back. Yeah. All right. Uh you head back uh and turn back into yourself. Turn back into myself. I will I'll let pause know to like just let me know when he gets home. Because it's a cat, and I assume that she'll be up at four o'clock in the morning running back and forth across the apartments because cat. Ah, uh, yes, doing the zoomies and calling uh, to her mother or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Song of her people. Um, as you get back, Winter will, you you feel someone behind you. We gotta get you a bell or something. Uh, okay. Sure. What have you been up to all night? What What was that? What was that? James, what was that? I was like, no, I'm not there, but I want to interject with a personal James note, which is the fact that I have had that exact statement said <laughs> about me. <laughs> Because, like, I, I've worked, you know, at retail and restaurants, but I make next to no noise. when I, I can jump and make no sound when I land. And so I'd be in retail or whatever, and I'd just be walking around, and then people would be talking, and they'll turn around, they're like, what are you, gotta get you a bell or something. Because, like, I just show up, and they don't know. And that's... Real life rogue stats. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's you can all. hear that's me it. coming from, like, a mile away, because I crack. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a it just crack crack bag of popcorn crack, crack, crack. real life wizard stats take one, one, one d4 piercing <laughs> damage from your own bones and die I know who I'm calling if I'm gonna do a heist I'm sorry <laughs> not Jess, it's me. not you <laughs> you know what I'm your ride or fucking die alright <laughs> that's true you're the getaway driver fine. <laughs> um <laughs> Uh yeah, you get so you 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 ask, you say you need a bell. Yeah, where you been on that? Um, out. Well, I mean, I'm aware you were out. I just buddy system. We got um, a probably murderous, creepy lady who uses a crow to see who I'm assuming wants all of us dead because that's just how things have been working out for us so far. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe it ain't necessarily safe to go out all on your own. Big I and tough just, though you might be. I could just step into the ethereal plane and leave. Um, what the? I write about it. <laughs> all right. All right. Fine. So you were out uh, just yell that and about having to not on the town yeah yeah uh, insight check <laughs> insight check go ahead <laughs> insight 21 oh you beat him by one No, he was doing something. He was not out on the town, just chilling. All right. I just, all right. So, what have you been up to? I haven't had really much of a chance to poke around this place. Tell me about the night life. What we could, how we could celebrate once we settle this issue with the Rev's grandmother and the evil step on to whatever. Now, why don't you take Faza to the brothel? 
as he's getting out of his armor. Well, I mean, I don't think she'd be super into it. But I mean, I could probably be suggestion, but wait, you all went to the well, I know Rev is going to meet his daughter or whatever, but you went with him. You went like to the brothel. Yep. Is that where you were all night? Yes. Zentra's yes, gonna be it, I was real at the brothel. Jealous. Hmm? Who got jealous? Zendra's gonna be real jealous. Oh, I mean, I don't think she was down for anything permanent, so I mean. Wasn't she? I don't think so. <laughs> Great brothel though. You should definitely go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You were there all night. That's impressive. All night. Do you want to inside him again? Him. He's clearly I, lying. I know you, he you wasn't. already He's did. You lying. already did it. I'm trying to figure out how to get him to tell me. All right. How about we stop uh, messing around? What were you really up to? Do you want to start messing around? No, stop messing around. No, don't try to distract me. Might work with a rev and me sometimes, but it ain't this time. <laughs> you sure? As he Pretty he sure. uh puts a hand through his hair and kind of like fixes his collar, unbuttons a few of his buttons. The man's you gone have, mad with power. You <laughs> mad have with the power. <laughs> actual body of Faze's brother. I feel like she'd be grossed out. That is that is fair. Anyways, uh <laughs> yes. it's been nice flirting with you. Uh good night. It's Gigi in front of him. No, but really, where were you? Do, <laughs> give me what else are you saying? But where were you? Give me, give me something good, and I'll let you do a persuasion. Um, Why do you care so much? Where uh, were you? In a matter of care. Was he were at the swimming hole, the Emerald Lake Basin? I don't remember what they call it. Real pretty lake where Gilly got sucked down and met her grandma. It's a story. What? I, I'd be happy to tell you what happened to us if you tell me what happened with you all. Oh, yeah. Tell, tell me what happened with you. Go ahead. No, no, no. Gentlemen first. Well, you know, I was with a rev. Uh, a rev then met his daughter. And then at some point I had to fly his daughter home. Um, and then I decided to stay at the brothel. All night. See, now, I thought we were friends. You're hurting me, Damascus. Are we not friends? I mean, I thought we were. Friends don't lie to each other, though. Not right to their faces. Have you met That's... yourself? I don't lie. I <laughs> embellish the truth sometimes and stretch it and lie. play with it. But... That is called a lie. He's going to try and get around you. Mm hmm You don't want to tell me I ain't going to force it. I'm just trying to show interest in your life and what you get up to when, you know, you ain't adventuring. Do you want to roll me you... persuasion? Sure. Uh, uh, 24. Uh, you see him pause for a second. Look towards your bedroom door, where I, he's assuming Faza is. Look down at you, and then there's almost like a, uh, give me, give me insight if you can read what crosses his his face. Eleven. I'm gonna pick a new dice. Uh, twenty one. Uh, he looks guilty. Oh, now you got to uh, tell me. I can't make this real easy for me. Okay, cool. Uh, I... I... This sucks. <laughs> if, if it would make you feel better, I can cast Detect Thoughts and just read your mind and you can say you never actually told me. I just found out. I've 
been talking to Tamina. Why? Because she said she would go back in time and get get Threven back for Faza, remember? Yeah, I remember. I didn't know it was actually possible. I mean, I would assume one of the primordial gods would be able to do something like that. Yeah, but and messing with time like that ain't gonna... What happens to you if she does? I don't know. But she fucking hates me, and I'm not her brother. Even though, I mean, I think I am, but she doesn't see me as as that. She... It ain't as simple as her hating you. Unfortunately, there is a lot more there. I get and... it. I get it. I just thought that I could, you know, help. I am here to try. But as much as she might claim to dislike you, I don't think she'd want Revan back if the cost is your life. I mean, I kind of feel like you're wrong about that. I have, she has actually said to my face that at least in the beginning that they were keeping me around in case they needed to kill me later to get the body. In the beginning, maybe. As though... That... <sighs> it's been an adjustment period for all of us. Just talk with her, see what she can do. We'll figure out a way to make it work so that you're both around. Hell, a rev says that that place with the demons and all of that, that time don't work there. So he's gone. If... Who's gone? Threven. Threven's body is gone. There is like a hole where the body should be. All right, so we go back to what's the city with the the gnomes? You've play, you've never been there, right? But what was the city with it? We walked Berlo. past it, Merlot. Mm -hmm. So we go back to to Merlot, or at least the the hub under the mountain, and we find some but some gnome to make a nice like robot construct body that we can bring back and fill up with a ode. Threven and problem solved. No, you're not you're not hearing right now. There is a hole where Threven should be in all of time and space before he died. Including death. Like he's just it's just like a Threven shaped hole. Alright, so then that that don't exactly sound fixable. That also doesn't seem like it should be a thing, right? Agreed. Do Which we know how that happened? Tamina has an idea. Wanna share? She thinks it's because you got pulled here? No. Not my fault at all. Um, she thinks that maybe... Someone who created time went back and took it. Uh, didn't she create time? Nope. Her brother did. Amser. The one that's the... Okay. The librarian. Well, we were... Potentially gonna have to deal with him anyways. We just add get Revan back for the list of reasons why. So, yeah. Shit. What the fuck would he even do with why? Would he want? He shrugs. 
Unless... I don't know. At some point in the future, we meet him, we kick his ass, and then he goes back in time, get Threven to use as collateral so that we don't kick his ass. Oh, God, a gun crass eye. I don't know, man. Time travel breaks my brain. But uh, apparently, I'm not the only one who's been trying to talk to Vina. Because FaZe is also trying to call in the dead. Remember there were nights where you were like, where where were you? Mm Mm-hmm. I'll I'll talk with her and see what's going on, but I appreciate you I'm being honest at least. Listen, yeah, none of us think you're just a placeholder for someone else. You're a part of this team same as anybody. And we are gonna figure out a way to get Threven back if we can. But we're gonna do it as a team, all of us. Okay. That, are you about to cry? No. You you kind of look like you're about. Shut to up, cry. Damascus. Do you need a hug? I do need a hug. Yeah. <laughs> I give him a hug. He hugs you. It's a little too tight. A little brunch. A little bone crunchy. All right. You are very strong. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Anyways, um, <clears throat> good talk. <laughs> uh, I think I'll I'll like hang out with him for a few minutes if he wants. Have get him like a beer from my uh, jug of holding, and all right, then just then not like just bed? shoot the shit and then hit yeah, yeah. You shoot and the shit. You back. hang out. He's clearly distracted and worried that you know. The one thing that FaZe has been like going after this whole time is not there anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, Arev, as you sleep. Yes. There's a moment of just solitude where you're alone in your head for a second. And then you feel a familiar presence of Varian beside you. And a picture begins to take place and form in your head. And I will read it to you. The sun is sinking, casting the landscape in a deep golden hue. The group of torches beneath the first tree... The first of Anya's many planted saplings danced in the twilight. Anya and Varian walked silently, their steps crunching on thin layers of leaves that had gathered around the trees in a gentle embrace. The air was still heavy with anticipation as they reached their destination, very Varian's gaze was drawn to the magnificent willow at their feet. Its branches seemed to sway with with its own life, protecting the small area of mosses and water lilies that clustered around it. The circle of flames illuminated its trunk, giving it a mystical glow in the night. Anya finally broke the silence. Where did where do you think blah 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 what was her accent? She was I think it was French. What do you think so, we've what do you think of what we've achieved here, Varin? It's all right. Uh, that sounds very Australian. We're not on our game tonight. Uh he replied after a moment. It's less the place that matters and more the people. The families that came with us and are the network that stayed strong, you know, following your lead, Auntie. 
they are the strongest of people. What should we name this place? She asks him. She's got a sad smile on her face. But Varian's attention is elsewhere. So he sort of misses that. Thorn, it's what the baker's kids have been calling it. Then we shall call it Thorn. They had come to the first tree. The This willow's branches were beautiful. It seemed to have grown here on its own. Shading this area of the pond while being the only thing to grow here beyond the Stella Bellas, of course. The circle of torches underneath it gave it almost a reverent glow. The night here seemed to pause in stillness. Anya's voice floating through the air like a ghostly whisper. Her words incomprehensible to Varian. His, his, he followed the light of the torches until it settled on a motionless, white, shrouded figure laying beneath the willow tree. Varian turned to ask her what was happening when a searing pain shot through his chest. A sharp blade, 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 God, fuck you. A sharp blade plunged <laughs> into his chest, bringing his, wor his words to an abrupt halt. Confusion and shock swept over Varian as he fell to his knees and his gaze met his aunt's eyes, erratic and consumed with grief. This is the first tree, the tree of three, she said in a whisper to him, her voice trembling. I saw it in my dreams before we entered the wastes. It was the night after Edouard died. My boy who wanted to save the world. My last child. And this tree is the tree of reincarnation. It will give him back to me. But it requires a, sa a sacrifice, something precious, my own blood. So I offer you, Varian. You see Varian's body slump against the tree the roots, and his gaze kind of falls to his aunt. Anya still standing, now surrounded by an eerie mist that had risen out of the nearby pond. Uttering incomprehensible inc incantations to her spell. Beneath the tree, laying next to the veiled body, Varian recognized his cousin's corpse. Everything was beginning to blur when he heard Miss Lynn's voice ring out from across the, the clearing. Full of fury and vengeance. What have you done? An axe seemed to fly out of nowhere and embed itself in Miss Lynn's chest just as Anya turned from Varian to face her. In that moment, the darkness took hold. Varian thought he heard Edwin's laughter next to him. And then the scene fades. You're standing next to Varian. Is there anything that you want to say to him? Varian is the... What... What you just showed me, is that... Is that how you died? I mean, I suppose there's no shortcut in it. Yeah, that's kind of what you saw. Um, I do want to say, though, uh, it's been bugging me for the last 50,000 years or so that I've been stuck in that tree. I was turning around to tell her that when... The kids were talking about calling this place Thon. It's because they, they were talking about the hope of the entire place. The fact that it was kind of like catching a catching the new dawn. 
like like the like the morning sun and so it was like one of the kids has just kind of stumbled over it he's like instead of saying the dawn when he was talking about it he said thon kind of clumsily and so the whole you know I was, I was turning to tell her that when i felt that blade <laughs> pierce my chest and just so i mean there at, the, at least <laughs> At least one person will knows the the true naming behind this entire place. Um, as I as yeah, you're telling me the entire city was named over a kid stumbling over saying the words of the dawn. Look, they're children, Rev. You gotta give them a bit of a like. That's what got you stuck. I showed you how I died, and that's what's got you stuck. Is some kids? I just no. I mean, okay, look, it's tragic. I I had a really good night. This was probably the worst night you could have shown this to me on. I am very sympathetic for you, Varian, but like. You're not still dwelling on this, right? We've had some wild times over the last few months, and this is this is still where you're at. You have a whole new lease on life, and this this is what you're dreaming about. It's kind of traumatic, Arev. It's the things that I went through. I you're seriously belittling me when I'm trying to shit. You know, you're a shit sometimes. And when you say that, when you're a shit sometimes, both of you here. Wake up, Star Seeker. It's time to seek a new dawn. And you begin to wake up. Who wakes up tonight? Or today? That is a fantastic question. Um, I, I don't have my physical dice. Uh, I've been using DN, th that website that allows us to track things of whom don't sponsor us, so I'm not going to plug their name. <laughs> um... But uh, who, who who of my illustrious friends who has a real dice might want to roll a d20 and tell me what they roll? Well, I can do it. Go ahead. Big chunk of dice. All right. Be a good I one. take no responsibility for whatever happens. I, that's <laughs> fine. 14. A 14 is a rev. Wakes up. All right. You wake up. Oh my god, I totally forgot that Callum was there for a second. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that would have been great. Shit. You wake up oh. in Callum's arms. I just as a small note, I, I just want it to be cleverly known that 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 voice, that repeating promise that has been suffused through a rev's entire journey the the wake up st star seeker it's mm -hmm. time to seek the new dawn uh-huh hey. <laughs> well, you found it you're done yeah well, <laughs> what was it was the revelation right like varian just said that some kid tried to name this whole place after the dawn and it's almost like we're looking for the new dawn <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so Arev looks over and just uh, oh, that poor asshole! What a terrible oh. life! What was that? <laughs> oh, uh, kill him. Oh, you're surprised to see me here. Do you not remember last night? No, I remember. I'm about to I go and cry. <laughs> no, I I remember. I It has been a long time since I have had any sort of opportunity just to wake up and feel this safe. So he just grabs you and pulls you into him puts his arms more around you mm. I'll keep you safe alright always
That's that's good to hear. I am. Um, I'll try and do the same back. You get a kiss on the top of your head. Playfully bat away at his face. Any coffee? I suppose we should get up. <laughs> All right. All right. He shoves you. And then rolls out of bed and gets dressed. Um, as he's getting dressed, um, I just walk over and I start to like fasten clasps and buttons on his uh, tunic and 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 armor to help him help get him dressed. But as my hands weave around the buttons, um, I just lightly druid craft um a few locks of holly and i interweave them around the buttons and press them into his collars and just like he not what's that thing when you can like press like a flower in like a book and then it becomes sort of like a part of the book just pressed flowers pressing yeah it's just pressing flowers <laughs> yeah well with, with druid craft i take the holly and i press it into the leathers and just sort of like cradle my hands like down along his neck and um along the collar of his clothes and down the buttons until i trail it down his chest uh drew crafting the holly into the buttons and and the and the collar That's really cute. Do you know what Holly means? I'll let you tell people. I hope I got it right because I'm pretty sure it's it's good fortune and like and like happiness, isn't it? Oh, it's, it's like a little green witch's blessing. Yeah, yeah. But um, so like I I, I press it in and. Just say now if you don't take care of this for yourself, I will I will know. He grabs your face and gives you a kiss. I love it. I kiss him back. Come on, let's and get you coffee before you start biting that stuff. Probably was. Uh also Trixie wants to let you know that she doesn't want more fish. What she want? Uh, she's a big fan of the the rabbits that you catch, and she knows that they, they've been sparse. But she's saying that like there's that. Um, she was flying by, and there's a vendor in like the lower markets in town that seems to have like far too many rabbits that aren't selling. So you should probably go buy okay. some spoiled bird. He's looking at. He smiles at her, but he, and you know exactly that he's he's about to go and buy a bunch of rabbit for her. <laughs> Brace the conies. <laughs> uh you go. You guys go and get breakfast. Uh yeah. let's see, let's see, let's see. FaZe has definitely been making breakfast for you. Um, Gilly, what do you do? Have you gone out or are you um, I think I would like to check in on what's her face that lives in my ocean? Or that is my ocean. What's her name again? <laughs> I keep forgetting. <laughs> uh let me look this up. Hang on, they're in my sidebar. You wanna look out you wanna look for your aunt? Yeah, that okay. seems like, I feel like we need a little de debrief. One second, NPCs. So, you are looking for, tell me I put it here, please, for the love of God. I don't think I did. Uh, I Ira, please. Ira. Is the name um, of the Profundo Ocean. Perf I oh, yeah, you want to go for the Profundo. Whichever one I have access to in my room. 
<laughs> Actually, there's something to do that I wanted to do with that. So, okay, perfect. If you are you going for a dip? Yeah, I'm just gonna dive in. Let me go in the water. Swim around. Your little buddy. Otto okay. appears. Uh you get swimming. And uh I mean, give me an insight or invest uh, investigation with uh with advantage. Oop. Uh <laughs> uh great glad i got advantage there we go okay and that is plus plus zero 18 <laughs> 18 the water's warmer a little more green oh interesting huh wonder if the season's changing here <laughs> is it summer <laughs> what are you mysterious what are you doing <laughs> <laughs> while you're swimming I'm just going to swim around and just sort of like keep my eye out for flashing scales as I get out deep enough to where it feels nice and open. Ahoyra! Hello! Ocean! Are you out here? No! <laughs> oh. And your, oh, your, great, your, grand, your great Grammy appears. Oh, are you? It's I can tell you are in my waters. As she gives you a little shimmy shake. <laughs> oh, this is... Wait, so is this your waters now? I asked for it. Well, that makes I sense, hope I you suppose. Were, you're, I hope that doesn't upset you. No, no, that's fine. I was just going to sort of debrief with uh, Ira. I have to look down at it every single time. It's not even a hard name. It's two syllables. I don't know why I keep on forgetting. Bro, I don't even have it open right now, so <sighs> ah, you're doing better than I am, and I'm the fucking DM. <laughs> I was just gonna uh, visit with uh, my aunt, I suppose. You know, since I had met you, I was gonna sort of have a conversation with her about that, but um, but it's nice to see you again. Nice to know I can just pop in here whenever I need to. You wouldn't rather talk to her, would you? No, no, no. <laughs> oh, good. I was hoping I was hoping you'd say that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well. Good morning. Nice to see you again. Good uh, morning. And she pinches your cheek. You got any news since last night? <laughs> well, you know. <laughs> The sea is doing well. The sea, I'm oh, sorry. The ocean's doing well. The sea has gotten a little rougher, but that's whatever. Her job, not mine. Uh, I have a little. I have a little school of clownfish that are really just the most little shits you've ever seen. Honestly, the oh, things they tell, come they? up with. They are clowns. It makes sense. Oh, you're so funny. But they are clowns. You would never know that they were, you know, actually quite timid creatures. Because these ones have balls, let me tell you. Anyway, <laughs> uh, oh, there's a great white shark that's out kind of just circling right now. So taking a dip in, like, the outer, like, closer to the shore is not such a great idea. Seems like he's out for blood. But that's okay, Sometimes you gotta eat, right? So she just Nugget. continues to go on and on. And I get just the, the small details of every sea creature in the vicinity. Uh -huh, Excellent. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. All right. Well, uh, you know what, Grubby? Uh, it's actually it's a bit past my uh, breakfast time. Getting a bit oh, you should rumbling eat. You're in too the tumbly. Mm, You're yeah. much too thin. Oh, okay. Well. It, I've been washing my macros, um, but I, I gotta go to breakfast now. Uh, my friend has cooked for me, probably, but it was lovely to see you again. Okay. Well, yeah, come and see me again, darling. We'll do. <laughs> is this this is always gonna be your ocean now? Well, I could put it back if you like. No. I just check it. You can call for me if you want, but I don't know why you wouldn't want to come see your grandmother. No, you know what? This is lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> Good 
girl. Run along now. All right, then. Uh, see you soon. <laughs> I saw Dan. I saw Dan immediately. Like, oh no! <laughs> are you channeling a relative? A oh, those are home. all our grandma. Mm-hmm. Like, just, just all okay, the there we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you don't uh, write. You don't call. Am I? Am I? Am I too much for you? You don't want to talk anymore. You don't love uh, me anymore. Ungrateful. Mm-hmm. Well, well, Aldo, it looks like we've got a, a talkative ocean at our front door. It's it's great. That's fine. It's fine. It's great. <laughs> Time for breakfast. Nothing could possibly go wrong. You guys fine. all congregate for breakfast. Is there anything anyone wants to do before you head out this morning? Um, once we kind of congregate for breakfast, I'd like to like pin up the maps on our murder board or what was once our murder <laughs> board, and just new murder. Pause board. for a second because. This feels right to have something there. And then shake my head and be like, so I bought these maps the other day on a whim, just because, just because I thought they looked neat. Uh, But I was taking a look at them last night and I think they might indicate, well, something important to say the least. Near as I can tell, we got three X's, three threes, and they all line up with the big cities of Rhea. I'm wondering if they indicate like places of power or something. Could Might it be, be where the trees are? That's are what I'm looking thinking. looking for those trees? There's three trees. How many threes are there on the map? Is it just three or there's a bunch? Three threes? Three threes, three trees. Trees and threes. Um, they do rhyme. Makes sense. A rev kind of does you know like that thing where like you can like move very like organically around somebody that you know very well. Mm-hmm. So he he and Callum kind of like have that thing where they just sort of like are like moving around each other very in sync and I, as i take my coffee i sort of like brush his shoulder with mine but like gently like move forward and take a look at the map and just look down at it and go huh that's what i said so our best guess is that one or all of these sites are going to be corrupted because of that woman's plan. That's my thought. I mean, I pretty much had stuck on the threes of trees, but it makes sense. Have you guys Uh, been to any of these places already? Since coming home, no. Um, but am I deeply linked with one? Yes. Does one of them line up with the Tree of Ancient Whispers? Or that's I mean, what it's called, right? I, yeah, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming you're asking tree of me. Ancient whispers. No, with where a Rev knows that the Tree of Ancient Whispers is, is what I'm saying. Like, does one of those line up? I'll ask a Rev, but... I'm also asking you as a DM. Yeah, the like known site. Do yeah. I see that one of the sites marked matches geographically on the map where the tree would have been? Oh, let's see here. Yes. Hey. All right. Well, that's suspicious to say the least. Do you want to give me yeah. um uh? If- a rev. Map do you want to give me a map check? Do you want to give me a investigation? Uh, sure. I would also like to just um, formally ask, considering the dream that I had last night, mm-hmm. and you know, a rev was kind of sassing very in a little bit, but like he was also doing that to try and like make sure he wasn't dwelling on the negative. Mm-hmm. Um, seeing this map 
and seeing the way that it overlays everything and knowing what's going on, do I get a sense of trepidation, like anxiety? Um, do I have any inclination that the, t the, the the fact that this is what's being discussed while I'm awake and that that's what I was being shown while I'm asleep have anything to do with each other? Do you want to insight yourself? I do kind of want to insight myself, yes. Insight yourself. All right. I'll, I'll give you my investigation first. So my investigation is a flat eight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and my insight on myself is a 21. Ooh. I mean, it's it's all lining up, right? why would you be going why would that be shown to you that night of all nights and then suddenly these maps it, it all makes sense it's all coming together oh yeah oh it's yeah. all coming together um oh. okay so that being said and then there was sorry there was also talk um there's some sort of uh, there, there's some draw or pull or so, something that Callum discovered in the in the mountains we were supposed to discover too uh, around here some sort of no not around here uh, closer to the border of Horn uh, closer to the border of Thorn okay but it um, so I Arev looks at this all and goes, huh. Um, you know, Damascus, I really wish I had some way of just taking what was in my head and like, I, I don't know, put, hold, holding it up on like putting it in a book or something and showing you an image of what was in my head. That just feels like it would be really convenient right now um, i go i mean there is a way uh i will you let me cast the spell on you good morning Callum. morning winter in the background oh, i did notice you there Callum. hello we're gonna talk later but I cast detect thoughts on a ref. <laughs> okay. And as that's being cast, I, I just turn to Callum and like, I, I, I'm like biting, like the spell's being cast and like I'm giving it permission, but I'm just like, pause. <laughs> <laughs> and I I, <laughs> I I turn to Winter like as this is being cast and I, or to, to Callum as this is being cast and I say, You you had news for us um of of something you found, right? In in the mountains. Uh what was what did you call that mountain again? Something with the the, the pass of something or the mountain of some uh, Oh fuck me. Hang on. Uh it actually has a name. I just have to find it. That's why I'm asking Callum. <laughs> <laughs> You're asking Callum, but Callum would know. I know. That's why I'm asking Callum. <laughs> because uh, I, I feel like it was like the, the, the pass of stars or like the, the, the it mountain. It was something to do with stars. It, the, um, the, the mountain. The... Sounds on brand. Yeah. That's why, that's why I'm bringing it up. Cool. Oh, hang on. God damn. <laughs> Has I've forgotten what an ear looks like. Why? That's not right. You forgot what an ear looks like? I'm trying to draw an ear and it's not working. An ear for who? Your mom. I do, I do fan art while we play. <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> I gotta keep my hands busy. I heard of what? I heard of what? What else? It's locked tomb. Lock two? 
Yeah, that's the stuff I cosplay. Oh. It's a book series. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. Cool. Come on. I'm never going to freaking remember it now. It's buried it's deep here somewhere. In the notes. <laughs> no, yeah, no. You, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Control F. Control F stars? Yeah, that's <laughs> How often is that going to come up? Oh, just every other day. <laughs> Every other hang thing. On. All right, hang on, hang on. We, I'll do mountain. More promising. More promising. Hey. Ah, oh, that's great. I love it. Sometimes your players ask for something, and you're like, "I know that it's a thing. <laughs> I wrote it. Do I remember it?" Exists. It? No. Oh, definitely. Yeah. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> hmm. Okay, here we go. Okay, well, we're on we're in the we're in the area. I have I have absolutely had to be like, I'm going through all of my files because all of my DM notes are in different like word documents. So I have to find <laughs> the right folder, the right word document. Of course. Oh, nope, that one's not open. Open the right one. Yeah. 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 Sometimes I'll just Path make something new up and be like, that's what it's called now. Shut up. It always has been. Uh-huh. Prove me wrong. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. I was um, wrong before. I'm right now. It's called The Path of <laughs> Stars. And if that's not what I said before, it's because Ansor came went back in time and changed it. Shut <laughs> well, it's up. Called, it's called The House of Stars. The House, the House of Stars. Of stars. Okay. <laughs> Someone fucking make a note of that for now. Yes. <laughs> it's, it's been it's in my note. Callum had news about something in the mountain, the house of stars. Okay. Perfect. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, so, that being said, uh, with the detect thoughts on pause, I turn to Callum and say, um, you kind of briefly mentioned it, and we, we didn't have time to really go go over that, what, what you discovered. What you th- were you trying to... What, were you asking for us to, to come investigate it? Like, what sent me there looking for salt caves remember I but you found more than that right I found a holy site I think uh looks like it might be dedicated to Vara okay but also the fact that there's supposed to be some salt caves there that but and there is salt, a salt trail, but it sort of just ends going into the mountain. I mean, well, there's no need to get salty about it, Callum. It's just a question. Okay. Anywho. Um, I, I give him a little wink, but then I like turn to Damascus and I go, okay. So... <laughs> And then, like, I, like, nod and allow the detect thoughts to, like, enter my head. And to the best of my knowledge, I I replay the the scene. And it shouldn't be too hard because, like, he's been kind of flirty and doing uh, the the passing back and forth and stuff with Callum. But in his head, he's really just been replaying everything that happened with Varian and all of the, the imagery that it was shown. So you get this this wash over of this, um, th- th- this starry night in the the Emerald Basin, and uh, by the willow tree that was named at that time the Tree of Reincarnation. Um, you see Anya, the first ever eldest druid, her relation to you of how she had this vision of this tree, her desperation as she's listening to Varian talk and discuss and reveals to him how this vision that compelled her to bring their entire nation through the deserts and through the wastes uh, to find this tree was simply to revive or reincarnate her son, Edouin, who had passed away in uh, the wars that they were fleeing. And... you view 
from Varian's perspective, the blade protruding from his chest, and you feel a rev in Varian's feelings of shock and betrayal and hurt as he's looking at this face that he should love. And there's just the sheer pain and agony as he falls back watching this person stand above him and tell them why they made the decision that he had to die. And then in his final moments, the rage and roar of Mislin, his sister, as she charges across the clearing trying to avenge him before he watches her to get an axe to the chest. And an evil billowing laugh. I think as you are showing me this scene, I am simultaneously using my at will silent image to kind of display it so that everyone can watch it at the same time, if that makes sense. Oh, and granted, it's silent right. image. So anytime somebody talks, it just, I pop up like subtitles. It basically is like a silent film. Yeah, I was just thinking that. Yeah. <laughs> It's too bad we don't have someone sitting on the back with like a rag Tommy a piano. <laughs> it's a bard. Come on. A bard is doing this. There's some sort of uh, magical musical accompany. Also, I also every once in a while throw in uh minor illusions to do that. <laughs> to play the music. Uh, for eating popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I show the whole scene to the whole group so that everyone can kind of get the same information and get the same kind of vibe about what happened. Because you did say you wanted to try and put it in like a book that everyone could see. And that's the closest I can do is to make a movie. And then uh, ju just on, on the very tra tail end of the detect thoughts, right before it, it wa wavers off and the spell ends, because you get the whole image. There's just one single thought that is not a revs that sails across. He goes, Oh, sure, Damascus. Just air out all my dirty laundry for everyone to see. Yeah, no problem. That's exactly what I wanted from it. And then the voice cuts off as the spell ends. Because I've been just doing this without really thinking, just transferring whatever I see in my head to the thing, I think that pops up as the last one. <laughs> the end. Oh, <laughs> oh bye. Fang. Fang. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Um... That's quite the story. I mean, certainly fits with everything we know so far. So no, pause. You said Finn. You know it's like Finn is like the French, like yeah. fan, like Finn. the end, right? Okay. I'm bad at so, French. <laughs> no, it's just because you said bad at French. When, when you said Finn, I was like, maybe he maybe he thinks it's just its own thing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, there's uh. no way. Anyways, what it is. it's like when you go to Quebec and the signs all say Aret. Yeah, Wait, they all say all the signs say Arev. <laughs> I'm Aretting. Aret. 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 Anyways, okay. continuing. Sorry, uh, you just up... fucking broke him. Do you see that? <laughs> it, broke, it broke me. I was yeah. like. It was very like I, I was here in the moment that I was like, wait, no, that's not possible. Okay, re enter the headspace. <laughs> ah. I'm I back. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, Derailed. Uh, just, I mean, yeah. Uh, do just do you want to take like the I'm five, minute, five break. minute break? Yeah, yeah, let's take a five <laughs> minute break, guys. <laughs> let's let's like... I, think we need to, I think we need to <laughs> just refresh Reset everything. Resets. Like, <laughs> The mo movie Finn. <laughs> you broke him. <laughs> I'm sorry. We broke each other mutually. It's French. <laughs> oh. yeah. uh, we so, will be yeah. back, chat. Um, au revoir. We'll see you in uh, No, minutes. just fucking Wait, stop. Not au revoir. Adios. What's the other one. <laughs> à la prochaine. Yes. Une maman. <laughs> Cinq minutes. Merci. Okay, we're back from our break where we tried to like, you know, focus again, though I don't think that we did that. <laughs> uh it's just one of those days, which is fine. 
uh what happened last you guys had breakfast and a whole bunch of shit came out oh and varian was like bro why you got to put me on blast like that and um here we all watched a movie we all watched a wonderful movie a very sad movie and yeah Oh, is this, this is the first time? <laughs> Don't start. <laughs> this is the first time we would have seen Varian, right? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of exciting. I know what he looks like from. But I don't know if you if you ever showed it. You gave him his hat, but no, but he didn't put it on. He didn't put it on. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah, that's the first time we would have seen Varian. Well, I mean, then again, like this, this was like a first person thing. Yeah, are you seeing it from Varian's oh, perspective, or yeah? So y- yeah. you still wouldn't have seen Varian ah, from from fair this. Enough. <laughs> oh, no, unless unless it included unless... the conversation between Arev and Varian, because then you would have had... then it would have been from Arev. Is what I showed. So yeah, we would have seen what Varian looks like. I think. Yes. It was the red fellow that got stabbed. And that would be Varian. Oh, I know him. That makes it much more sad. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> Context is important. It's nice to put a face to the boys, Context I guess. Is key. Um, <clears throat> so, <laughs> the, this is kind That's of. Like, okay. I'm laughing about oh my god. I'm laughing about what? She's just collapsing yeah. into the chair, just giggling. We have no idea what you're saying, Jess. You're... No, I, it sounded through the microphone because it got choked choked off. It sounded like you were saying, I'm laughing about Helen Keller. And I was like, I don't <laughs> No, that's not what it was. <laughs> that's what I heard. And that's why I was like, when you got quiet and we're like giggling and hysterically, I was like, how what? I'm like, what a random name drop. But no, it's just my brain. <laughs> it's the my break brain did up. nothing. The break did nothing. Yeah. <laughs> it's because I am... the vibe tonight. I am a professional derailer. <laughs> if you want us to... You want, you want a group to focus on anything? Do not include me. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, and I want to see my. <laughs> you want to see my cool tea thing? I like it. That's actually. Ta-da. Oh, is, is that the I one where it. the bottom falls out? Yeah, the bottom it? just goes out. I think I have that exact I thing. I love it. I yeah, love cool you do. Thing. Okay, and now <laughs> the blessing of our resident tea god. Um, uh, ta- uh, wait, Talon. you're welcome, Talon. Talon. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> Let's. <laughs> <laughs> Damascus, what do you think the best course of action would be? I mean, it's it's not coincidence that I that I'd be shown this or, or allowed to see this the the night before we're having a discussion about the exact same thing, is it? I imagine not. Near as I can tell, we got two paths forward. We can <clears throat> investigate the spot where these trees are supposed to be, see if we can't find a clue as to the link between them, the way to reconnect them, reform them into one tree. We also need to find Roy and see if he's managed to find out any information about where his wife might be being held. God, I forgot about it. Uh, I mean, also if he has any... Not that he seems to be in favor with his mother, but maybe any sort of indication of where we might find her as well. Ain't a bad idea. And I can't believe that I'm about to say this. But should we split the party? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, definitely knock, knock, not. knock, 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 knock. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who could that be? I think that's a sign saying that's a terrible idea. <laughs> uh, I'll go get the door. You open the door and uh, it's a very out of breath and disheveled looking Roy. 
Speak of the devil. <laughs> speak of the tiefling. <laughs> he's not a tiefling. Oh, he's not? Well, oh, never right. mind. It's true. He's uh, just a human fella. Yep. Speak of the devil. Um, Come on, Imra. He pushes, he kind of like pushes you back inside, shuts the door, and is like, I need your help. Yeah, I thought we were already doing that. No, okay. Yes. Mm. How's your daughter? You've got it. Roy Callan, with Callan your Roy. parents, right? He looks, he's just for a second looking at this. Looking at you, the fact that you mentioned that he has a daughter, then looks at the fact that that there's someone that you don't, he doesn't know here, and then goes, uh, oh, right. should maybe like um, he go and we, uh, um, they sleep together, so he's in the circle of trust, I think. Oh, is he now? Okay, well, yeah, that's that's he is not in takes. my circle of trust, so congrats, right. by the way. Arav's face just goes red. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I suppose it, I could. I can. I can see the attraction. Yeah, you can. Not on his part. Handsome is all. I I walk over to to Callum and I again I just like gently brush my hands along his uh, ivy pressed collar. And I look at him and raise a hand, um, doing that thing where you just like very lightly, like not even like pressing the hand to the body, but just ever so gently rested on the skin on his face. And I just look at him because we're, we're about, I think we're the same height. Yeah, right? about. And I'm just like, see you later because we have more to talk about. I, I'll see you later because we have more to talk about. All right. He leans in. I kiss him. Gives you a kick, a kiss, a kick, a kiss. Yeah, he, <laughs> it's quick. It's a, it's a kick. It was a quick kiss, but it came out as a kick. Um, it look, gives yeah, you a kick. A swift, quick kick, kiss. <laughs> God, I, fucking damn. Damascus. Uses minor illusions to make a ooh sound <laughs> like he's on a '90s TV show. Um, and Callum will smack you on the way out, just upside the <laughs> head. Worth it. Uh, you see, Talon and Trixie follow him out, and uh, Roy turns to you and goes, "Something's happening. So it's not. It's not him." Some, something is happening now. She's... Grandmère has taken a turn for the worst. And, um... I think she has Shaylet. I think they are at the tree. You think... Who's that? Shoot, what's at, her name? Uh, Esme? Pro lady. You think Ismay has? Ismay, yes. Crow lady, my mother, yes. All the same person. The lady? (laughs) And you think they're where? At the tree? Yes, we. At the tree. Oh, fuck's sake. Are you not listening to me, people? (laughs) Sorry, we didn't know where she was. That was like the entire problem. Roy. Now we do. Which tree are they at? Or rather, which tree are they trying to summon? Well, they are probably at the closest one. I point to the map. Which three yeah, is the tree? Yeah, there we are. Point on the map. It... He... Uh, which three is the tree? You're in a hurry, ain't we? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I told you that the tree had been moved slightly? Sure. Oh, shit. So this map's old, ain't it? It's close. It's near um it's closer to the Lauroran Conservatory. Okay, so weird weird time to bring this up. Um uh-huh. but you know how we just leveled up, right? Uh-huh. 
so that means that I get to pick a new spell. Uh-huh. But, but also, like, I'm a druid and can prepare spells pretty much all the time. Uh-huh. Um, I didn't discuss it with you, uh, which mm-hmm. spell I prepared. But I incidentally, completely by accident, made sure that I prepared transport via plants. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's fantastic. <laughs> Jump into a tree. So, um... We can we can be there in the next six seconds, <laughs> as long as I have a tree big enough for us all to jump through. And the well, tree—that was my question. So we can all go. Yeah. Um, Perfect. It's it's one one round's worth of 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 action that the portal stays open. So like, as long as we all just go, we can like absolutely, yeah. And yeah, it's flat out. Like, as long as the tree is big enough for, like, uh, us to fit through on both sides, it's like an instantaneous two-way portal. It's just, I have to know the tree. And uh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out on a limb and say that I know this tree pretty fucking well. <laughs> so, it may have been moved, but it's still, this isn't the ship of Theseus here. It you can definitely transport between them. Nice. Also, I'm sorry. For the people at home, the ship of Theseus, if you are familiar with it, is a, a, a <laughs> philosophical idea that if you have a ship and you eventually, over time, replace every single part of the ship, is it still the same original ship of Theseus? Because it's called the ship of Theseus, but every part's been replaced. So, like, is it? Mm. Anyways. New ship or old ship? Your it, cells are constantly regenerating. Are you still the same person? Uh, no, actually. You are not. There we go. Well, then I guess yes, the ship of Theseus is not the same I person. certainly am not. Same ship. Same person ship. Fuck your mom. <laughs> okay. <Relationship>. <laughs> Jess, you have my favorite outbursts of any person. <laughs> <laughs> it's different every time. It's mm. fantastic. It's so colorful. <laughs> I'm so sorry. This is why we have an 18 plus stream. Because of Jess. That I'm is, just, you never know yeah, what she's yeah, going to say. Is. It's just me. I, I mean, I also did just wear like five seconds previous to that, but that's fair. Also, I our Friday well. show was just horrible, horrible, mm. horrible. I sometimes I I like tune in and I tune into like the worst things like Croctopussy, <laughs> and I'm like, I don't want to know. I'm going to just call it a day there. Okay, we're getting derailed again. Okay. <laughs> Shit. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring <laughs> it back. Tree. Um, okay, so we are go jump into a tree. We're here. Um so we are gonna go jump into a tree. But before before we do that, do we have everything in order that we need? And I turn to Roy and I go. So we we, we can get there now, and you can come with us if you know which one of these if you know where we need to emerge. Why do you think I am here? That's a good point. Are you coming with us? <laughs> yes! She has my wife. She has your That's wife at that. Oh. Shailith. Okay. Shailith is my wife. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do we need, like, any supplies before we go? Oh, what are, are we just like oh. going and stopping I'm, whatever is happening, or do we have to like do that spell thing that we were collecting things for? I don't that's a different thing. That's a different okay. thing. I do need to do one thing though. I open my bag. You ready to eat some bun? <laughs> and then it jumps out. I cast uh, find greater steed on. My cat Wait, you might want to do it after we go through the tree. Because would it fit through the tree? It'll fit through the tree. It's It'll fine. Through the okay, tree. never mind. <laughs> yeah, but, I turn my um, cat into a big cat that I can ride. You do hear when, once it's uh, mountable. Uh, <laughs> mountable tressum? A mountable mm-hmm. tressum. It still goes meow. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> All right. Pause and I are ready. Like, this then is the biggest thing I've ever seen. I climb on to pause. 
Oh, A sorry. plus. <laughs> I'm a cat person now. I get it. Right. <laughs> so, Orev, what are you doing? You could probably use the base of the tree that you're in. Oh, per- I mean, well, yeah, these are giant trees. So yeah. we could... Th- so are we just like falling through the floor and jettisoning out the side of a tree? That's why I would I would um suggest leaving the tree and going outside and like getting to the base of the tree. I mean, I get I so guess that you like, walk out disorienting. Also, let's just actually grab our bra- our hut one. Or, oh yeah, true. Or like, would it like Condo hut? Would it the like if I open the portal like in the ground, but I knew that it was gonna like be upright would it just be one of those things where like you could like poke your like like, step over yeah not not even like step over but like you just sort of like lay down on the floor and then like poke your head through and like crawl out on the ground because gravity would be weird right gravity would be like would be like this you go from the floor can we do some weird thinking with portal shit where it's on the floor we jump down and it like shoots us out with momentum no, you yeah, know, you'd like run, jump run. through, and then you would just sort of like belly flop onto the ground. I feel, like, I feel like, you, I feel like it was on. Let's the floor. go to the base of the tree. <laughs> yeah, because it, it was on the floor, and you tried to jump through. You would just land on your back, and then you'd have to like roll out of the way, and it would be painful. Yeah, and, and you probably think... land on top of somebody. I would give you a deck save. <laughs> I'm on a cat, so we can fly through. We got to make can. sure that we get out of the next person's way fast. It's like water slide rules. Yeah, That's true. yeah. Let's go to the base of the tree. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's valid. Seems like a good plan. Um, okay, like, so yeah, grab that's, the wand. I I am pre- prepared. Pre- prepared. I, ke- keeping in mind, this is me using my single sixth level spell slot to make sure that we get there to do this. But I that's feel like it's, it. a, it's a good use of a spell slot. Yeah. If if you want, I can do it. Wait, you know it. So much better at everything than you are. That's rude. <laughs> Here we are trying to well. help you. Yes, I can do it. Okay, who do you think I? Who do you think taught me how to do it? Me. The fucking eldest druid. Oh, right. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, if that that works as well. So go now? Do we need, what do we need? Do we need to go back? I'm fucking going. And he leaves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Let's six seconds. Go, 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 him. go, go. All right. Yeah. Our, our, our Uber is outside. <laughs> yeah. As we're walking down, I cast uh, Armor of Agathis at fourth level on me, which doubles onto pause because she's my greater steed. Nice. So we have 20 points. Right, Does she have visible cat armor now? Or is it like, like magical? It's magical, but it like looks like the same kind of jacket and armor that I'm wearing. So she's got like basically metal armor on, and it's got this like long coat that flops. Amazing. Gorgeous green coat. <laughs> I'm so glad I asked. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. It's just a little bit see through because it's magic, but it looks very cute. Perfect. Now let's step into a battle. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um. Considering it's transport via plants, does that make it an arbor? (laughs) (laughs) Instead of an instead of an Uber? Yeah, our arbor is here. Your arbor is our arbor. Mm -hmm. I can't hop in. Uh, Make sure to GPS your location to somebody just in case. Just you never want to get stuck in a tree. I'm going I mean, to leave you in the tree if you do not hurry up. We know for a fact you don't want to get stuck in a tree. We know somebody who has experienced this. It's somewhere <laughs> inside you, Varian is screaming. <laughs> get out we'll just, of the tree! We'll just, uh, we'll, if we get stuck in a tree, we'll just have to call firemen. <laughs> hey. uh, so you guys are at the base of this tree. You'll see that um, Roy places his hand on it and this almost portal begins to take place. It's swirling of browns and greens. Uh, and he gestures to you guys. I'm through, man. I'm going. Yep. 
You walk through. Me, <laughs> pause, walk through. You all get through. Run on through. Never walked into Faza, a tree winter. before. And he comes in behind you. Uh, and you guys Crazy. are... A, <laughs> you guys are in uh, a new area. Uh, the ground where you are is... Um, so you're, you've just stepped out of the, tr- the tree of three, um, the tree of reincarnation, and you're surrounded by, uh, tons of old trees, a dense jungle filled with tall, tall trees and like thick underbrush. Uh, the ground is uneven, covered in roots and vines that make footing a little bit treacherous. There are, okay, like... There are a few clearings that you can see here and there, but you're in one now, right? Obviously, the Tree of Three is in its own clearing. There's um, a circle of rocks around it, uh, around it, and um, as you kind of like get your footing, you notice like the ground is spongy. It, there's moss covered everything, um, so. Let me just, because you've I've skipped some things here. Let me just get down here. Uh, the tree itself is ancient and massive. Its roots spreading out wide and its branches reaching high into the canopy. The trunk is covered in a thick, smooth, pale bark that, and there are various like natural nooks and crannies that could pro that provide cover or hiding for creatures that are looking for uh, cover. Wooden stairs protrude out from the tree and spiral around it, disappearing up into the large branches and leaves. Uh, You can hear the sounds of the jungle around you, rustling rustling leaves, the chirping of insects, and the occasional roar of a predator. What do you do? Uh, Perception check? Do we see... The, uh, it, it, we see a, a goth chick with a crow <laughs> on her shoulder. Give me a perception check. I would like to search for goth chicks. Also, I would like to roll a perception check in game. Faze is like, hi, I don't why see are you me. looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> bangs. Uh, it's the bangs, Faze. <laughs> perception 22. 22. Um, so the clearing that this tree is in is actually it's it's rather large and you notice that there are um piles of stone kind of scattered throughout the clearing but one specific pile of stone kind of catches your attention as you're scanning um you notice by the way these stones are like broken statues and stuff uh and oh, no. the one that catches your attention looks like Phalus. Oh shit. Who's Phalus? Phalus was Phalus. Phalus was part of their party in the very beginning of this game. Oh. He was the oh. previous druid and house housing body of the goddess of summer. Uh, before shenanigans happened, uh, Are- <laughs> Arem is her cousin. Actually, you would be their brother. I would be their brother. Oh. Yeah, that's right. I that's right. I would be their brother, and uh-huh. I. That's wild to me. Oh, so complete... How did they get lost? Um. So there, there was a moment. Um. Oh, you mean how did they leave? Yeah, like how did they, they come left. to be a statue in? Uh, I don't know. Well, we don't I know can't tell part. you how they became. We don't know. Okay, a statue, but they left because their grandmother, the eldest druid, was getting sicker and sicker, and oh, she needed, shit. They, she they needed to find a place, uh, some way to heal them. Cool. Yes. Seems like that went well. Mm-hmm. Mm. And uh, as they were leaving the party, um. I think they, they voluntarily gave up the wh- whatever spark of um, Vara that was inside of them, I believe. It was 
it was Beloth that took it, I think, or who was it who did? So they weren't supposed to have it. Um, a, they're a purple tiefling, so they're not. They are born without souls, kind of thing, and they get them from somewhere else. So that soul doesn't come from this world. And B, uh, it had it had it was meant to go into you because you guys are both around like the same age. But it just, uh, but it just didn't, and then it. It was up... you had most of it. It was just a sliver that was missing. That's yes, and I, I had been that was part of my journey. Is I, I felt like something was missing, but also I knew that the stars were missing, and that's kind of like how I met the party. Was a followed me feet, Mister Frodo. Okay, mm-hmm. sorry. Um, all sorts of things missing. Yes, but uh, I connected with both myself and the inner spirit of Ara, and then I joined with the party, and I connected with myself more. As, and then I connected with myself even more when I found out there was more of me to connect with and the soul that's inside my body. So, and now you've connected with your family in a new way. All sorts of connections. Uh, yes. Can I make some sort of medicine check on the statue to f- see if there's anything? Um. Yeah, I think. Damascus is probably the only person who actually like recognizes her from adventuring. I'm sure Rev is like, that's my cousin. I'd, or mm-hmm. sister now. Yeah. Their sister now. Um, yeah. I just, oh. Oh, Rev, that's, Did she, they leave pre Phaza? Uh, no. no, just after. Okay. okay. They she, are. They... If you want to do a medicine check, I mean, the. The statue itself is kind of in crumb, in crumbled, and smashed. Oh boy! Not looking great. <laughs> Not looking fantastic. I won't even make your roll. Well, I, I wasn't trying to see whether it was like. It basically, my assumption is in this pivotal moment with like the anxiety and the stress climbing, like this. This feels like like an apex moment, you know, like you're not going to stumble across a, a crumbling statue of my sister. And it's just somebody decided to make a statue of my sister. Like, so Do you want to see if it's actually yeah, was this them. I, I wanted to try and like figure out why they statuified, whether it's like, a, like a physical ail- ailment by doing a medicine check and like trying to, check the stone and, and stuff. If, if you'd like a different kind of check. What, so what are you doing? Are you going to walk over to them? Like you've, this, you've just glanced at the pile. Do you want to go, do you want to go up and like check? Oh, th- like if there's nothing immediate, sorry, if there's nothing immediately apparent, like from where we're standing, except that the one thing I want to do is yes, go to them. Yeah. Go ahead. Sure. So you walk I- over to them. You kneel down. What are you checking for? You want to roll your medicine? Yes. Um, 26. And with a 26, and I'm just going to roll one thing here. Uh, With a 26 you're pretty sure that this has something to do with a basilisk. I mean, what else turns people to stone like that? And with a 21 perception, once there's someone out in the open from up above you in the trees, you hear a hiss and branches moving. (laughs) Great. As like as if something is coming down towards you. What would you like to do? Well, I mean, I don't look up. <laughs> That's <laughs> um but I as I'm kneeling by this statue, it, it is the head possibly like around or on the ground? The head of the statue, yeah. Um so just as as I hear this crumbling and everything, I just pick up it, it, it as this impending noise is above me, I pick up the head and just hold it in front of me and gaze at the the stone face 
and it's taken like a, a look of like kind of shock and almost fear etched into it. And like I just like take in the details of this person that I I now realize my entire life was my sibling and all those talks all that help that we gave each other by the by the basin yeah by by like the the emerald basin by the waters and all the help we gave each other in, in the druid circles and schools that I'm like looking at them and I just say I'm sorry Phelis you deserve so much better I love and that all of you forgot that her brother is there as well. <laughs> oh, whoops. <laughs> Roy. I didn't, well, I mean, I didn't forget. I, I ran off to like go mm -hmm. to this, right? But then I, without looking up, I yell back to the group and I say, uh, like, I mean, yelling, but like, watch out. Don't look up. Basilisk. And and as Much you say that, um, an incredibly huge snake begins to uncoil itself from higher up in the tree and slide down the trunk. Uh, its long forked tongue flickers out, smelling the air. Its yellow eyes are locked on to each one of you, not that you can see the color. Um, and I think that is where we will call this session cliffhanger <laughs> yeah, love it. i mean i love it death oh, hanging dear. in the branches above yeah. all I right have a plan i have a bad plan is your What's plan to look at it death i mean I have, that would be the worst shield. plan <laughs> probably polished pretty well it oh, worked yoy. in a story i read all right. Do I have anything reflective? <laughs> That's not actually my plan. I have an even better, dumber plan. No. I can close my eyes we'll and just next. have auto fight for me. I, you know, I been... auto do that one point of damage per round. <laughs> <laughs> It'll I, get there <laughs> eventually. I've, I've been tracking this, uh, this secret old constellation um, from fifty thousand years ago that uh, called the Mirror. Uh, <laughs> I would like to point out this thing is wrapped around a very ancient and powerfully magical tree oh. that you probably don't want to set on fire. That's a good thing Varian's not here. <laughs> yeah, Noted. I, don't I don't have fire stuff. It's fine. <laughs> All right. Um, and I'm I sneeze stars. You should against <laughs> suffering. Thank you for being here through this I don't know. We are not here today, guys. Uh, <laughs> hey, Dan, what's your name? I um, don't. Damascus? Me? Hi. I'm Dan. You can find me <laughs> at the speed of candy on like, oh, the internet and stuff. Um, <laughs> today I was Damascus Silver, the half-elf bard warlock, who is excited to ride a flying cat into battle because it's awesome and the cat has <laughs> armor and a coat and looks adorable. That's all. It's still an adorable tiny meow. <laughs> Let's <laughs> head this way <laughs> to uh, Caro. I'm Caro. Hello. I was Gilly Ghislaine, uh, the Warlock Bard. Not, that's not right. The Warlock Barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, Did we switch? <laughs> uh, yeah, she started singing. Um, and I'm Imaginary Caro on the internet. James. Oh, the Barblock? Hello. Oh. Uh, but a barbarian. Bar barbarian. It's a barbarian. Yes. No, bar barbarian. Barbarian uh, is for her. She's she's a barbarian oh, warlock. Bar barbarian. Bar block. Warbarian. 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 Yeah. Warbarian. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. No, one day. Day. Sorry, James. <laughs> no, it's fine. See, now I'm stuck on that. I one day no, I, I want to play a bard camera. paladin, so that I can be a paladin. Because that's the best <laughs> name for a multi-class. Yeah, I mean, that's good. I don't know. Palarian sounds pretty great. Palarian. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Hi, Internet. I'm James. Uh, I go by Masric or Masric24 if you want to find me in other places, most notably uh, our Discord, which there will be a link uh, in chat. We're pretty great. We basically just post memes and dad jokes all day. That's all we do. 
Um, but it's a great place to be if you want to be uh, uplifted and supported by our wonderful and Ill illustrious, and almost industrious. I mean, you are pretty professional that also way, Jess. Also industrious. Um, I sneeze stars. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, t tonight, I played uh, Heart of Days arc, our very human circle of stars druid slash upcoming, hopefully soon, um, Swarmkeeper Ranger. Uh, and uh, also, intermixed with him, I played Varian Arbor, the smarmy storm soul sorcerer that shares a body with him. Um, it's a little bit cheeked to have his soul bared like that by that silent movie and the ragtime honky piano banjo lute thing that he was doing with that imagery. Damn you, Damascus. Um, he doesn't actually feel like that. He's just a little embarrassed. It's okay. Uh, that's pretty much... Pretty much it. That's it. All right? Come have fun with us. Come check out our other shows. They'll be back tomorrow. Uh, we have two players in State of the Union tomorrow. Um, there's other shows on Thursday and Friday, and there's the Moonstone Matriarchy, an all-female campaign in which you can find my other half uh, on Saturdays, and it's just it's just a good time. Come hang out with us. We love you. Goodbye, Internet. We love you. Okay, bye-bye. We love you. Okay, goodbye Thanks forever. For what is being... Oh, wouldn't it be nice?